What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. My name is David. Um, in today's video, you guys, I'm gonna simply just I'm gonna I'm gonna simply show you a case study, a client of mine, 14 leads, little under 24 hours. Um, Facebook ad, right? Facebook ad, simple landing page, simple offer. Um, she's a real estate agent here in the in the U.S., so she's targeting her local area. I think she's in the Cleveland, Ohio area, targeting her local area, educating people on what it takes to purchase, educating people on the home buying process, right? And her ethical bribe, her whole entire marketing campaign evolves around a free buyer guide, a simple free download, a simple free PDF um, that she can ethically bribe her audience, bribe her prospect, bribe that person who's watching her content. She can ethically, ethically bribe them to click Come over to her webpage and capture the lead. That's where she captures the lead, right? That's what the that's that's an ethical bribe. So those of you that are building a business, right? Think of what you can give away for free: a free training, a free webinar, a free class, a free a free case study, a free download, right? Um, in the real estate space, it doesn't get any easier than educating your local audience on a, on a particular topic either the topic of buying, what it takes to purchase in today's market, right? That's information that people would love to just know, right? The average person is not a realtor. They don't practice real estate. The average person is just a consumer, a homeowner, or maybe an aspiring homeowner. homeowner. They, they, they need to know the process, the ins and outs, right? Many people don't know what you guys know. So as you can come out here and educate people, educate people on your topic, educate people on your business, educate people on the process of buying your product or service, and then ethically bribe them to download something or to click and watch something, enter their name and email to watch something, right? That's how you want to build your brand. But, but, but at the same time, that's what you want to use to be able to capture leads. So this is simple, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you kind of just behind the scenes. I'm 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 going through my client's account right now, and I'm like, damn, I should just make a video on this, right? And and maybe teach you guys a few things too. So this is how simple it is. So again, this goes out to any small business owner, but 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 primarily a real estate agent. Those of you that are watching this, watching this, that are that are that are that are maybe following me on Facebook or following me on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, subscribe smash the bell for notifications. What I do on this channel is I drop a lot of content on Facebook ads and really landing pages. The simplicity of building a business online, right? What does it really take? What, what are the software? What are the tools that are that are that are needed, that are required, right? I'm going to show you behind the scenes real quick right now and how simple it really is. So so when it comes to let me in fact let me share this screen. When it comes to running running ads, right? You can you can look at any platform. You guys look at Facebook, look at Instagram, look at LinkedIn, look at TikTok. It's all the same thing. When you're running a, a Facebook ad, and that's why if you're a local business owner, this is where my where my passion and and, and just my my real convict conviction really really comes into play. Because if you're a local business owner. And 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 you're ideally trying to get the attention of a of a of a small community, your local area, your backyard, a few zip codes, your city, right? If you're a local business owner, I truly believe those are the only people you need to be talking to. So when it comes to social media marketing, it's not really social media marketing because as you social media market and you organically post, just like you guys you guys are doing right now, you're organically posting on Instagram, you're organically posting every damn day on Facebook, right? If you're trying to build a YouTube channel, that's that's something a little different. That's more of a long term play. But those of you that are that are local small business owners and you're over here trying to post on social media, be honest with me. Be honest with yourself. How is that going for you, right? As far as lead capture, as far as scalability, as far as trying to really build your brand over here, right? If you're a local business owner and you're over here organically posting, what really comes with that? Mainly people who start following you from all over the place. So if I'm a local business owner, I farm, I'm a real estate agent, I farm these three zip codes. This is my town. This is my local community. This is where I want to crush it with real estate. Local. Right. But yet you go to your Instagram, you got 17,000 followers. And those are people that are not local. Those are people that are all over the freaking place. Right. So you end up posting your open houses, your listings. Again, if you're a local business owner, you end up posting your products and services when the majority of people that follow you on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok don't even live in your area. You're a local business owner, right? Those of you that are that are building nationwide brands or global brands, then shit, you could post 15 times a day organically and really build a crazy following, especially on TikTok. Build a crazy following, right? Fast and do it organic, right? 
if you're building nationwide or global. But if you're a local business owner, this applies to you guys. This applies to you guys. If you're a local business owner, this applies to you guys. Learn Facebook ads, learn Instagram ads, learn how to take that click to a simple landing page where you can capture the lead, where you can ethically bribe people to download a free buyer guide, a free seller guide, a free coupon, a free $5 off your next copy. You own a local bagel and coffee shop, start running ads and give away a free download. Click here to download your free bagel on us and start giving away a free coupon. You're a local plumber, you're a local dentist, you're a local landscaper, whatever. This applies to anybody, right? You're a local realtor. Start running video ads, simple video pieces, video content, one minute video, two minute video, and start educating people in that local area on your specific business, on your specific topic, primarily the process, right? Again, if you're a real estate agent, explain, start educating people on the process of what it takes to buy, right? Or, and, and, and you're only focused on that one person or, or start putting out content weekly, daily, whatever, but I'm speaking ads. I'm speaking specifically Facebook advertising, paying for the damn post to be seen, right? Targeting your local area. You want to focus on one person. So again, I'm either I'm either creating content, this video ad to target my local area to educate, educate people on the purchase of buying. And my ethical bribe is to get them to download a free buyer guide or my whole push from this point on with content creation is to is to is to only talk to the homeowner. I'm a real estate agent. I'm only going to be putting out content from this day forward, speaking to the homeowner, educating them on what it takes to sell. And my ethical bribe is going to be a free seller guide, a free seller guide, right? Click here to download my free seller guide. In this seller guide, seller's guide, I'm going to teach you about staging, prepping your property and all the above. Click here to download now. So now as you put out content, you guys, it makes it super fun because, again, you're educating people on what you do, right? If you guys are in the business, hopefully you're freaking in love with the business, right? You can educate people on the business, right, on the process of the product or service, right? That's the content. And then, again, the ethical bribe is to get them to click and download a free seller guide. That's all we're doing for this for this local business owner, this local realtor out there in Cleveland, one of my friends, one of my clients, shout out to Andrea. But, um, but again, I'm in her account right now. And I'm like, Dan, let me just cut a quick video and, and, and show you guys what I'm doing. Um, as people go through the, through, through the newsfeed, right. And so these are the three, the, the three, the three tools I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you. And, and these are the three tools you need. So as you come on a Facebook, as you come on an Instagram, as you come on to LinkedIn, as you come on to, um, um, freaking whatever, any damn social media platform. And as you start to run ads, this applies for organic as well, but, but, but mainly ads. Cause that's that you, what, I could target an area. I could target a specific location. That's the key here. You guys, that's why learning Facebook ads is so freaking crucial. If I'm a local business owner, I can literally run an ad and target my backyard. Right. And, and, and now I can start talking to the homeowner. And now it becomes fun because now I, I, I'm just educating people on what I love. And now I can actually give them something of value upfront for free. It literally cost me virtually nothing to put together a free PDF, a seven page PDF, teaching people my process on what it takes to sell their property, right? I, put, I package it all in in a, free, in a free document. Click here to download your free PDF, right? There's the exchange of value there. There's the exchange of information, the exchange of value. I give you this in exchange for that. Right. I'm going to give you my my free download in exchange for your name and email. And, and I know a lot of businesses want phone number up front. Right. If I'm going to get a lead, I need a damn phone number. No, this is how you date. This is how you kind of just get your feet wet with with that audience. You you give, give, give. What am I doing here with you guys? I'm freaking giving you shit. I'm giving you giving you value that you can possibly that, that, that can possibly turn your business around over here on social media. Right. And, and, and it's pretty simple. It's actually pretty simple. So, again, with no further ado. As I go through my client's account, I'm like, damn, let me show you what, what's going on. As people scroll through the newsfeed, right? And all of a, and, and, and then all of a sudden you come, a, come across a sponsored post. This is a, a, a Facebook ad, right? That's your typical Facebook ad. This could be Instagram. It could be a LinkedIn ad. This could be a TikTok ad. It's all the same thing. The backend tools, what are needed? What am I managing over here? What, what am I trying to show you? That's the upfront, the ad, right? Anybody can put on an image or a video or whatever and, and, and run the ad. Anybody can do that. It's the back end. It's the back end that needs to be in place. It's the back end. 99% of this stuff is about the back end. Okay. Here's the back end. 
as you click on this ad, right? As you click on this ad, he's taking you. Now here's, here's very, this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm glad we're coming across this. He's taking me straight to a Facebook form right? He's taking me straight to a Facebook form. This is not a landing page. He's not taking me to a website. He's bringing me straight to a Facebook lead form, right? That's cool. If you don't have landing pages, that, that, that can work. You can use Facebook lead form to capture that person's information, right? I can ask for all kinds of information right here. I can ask for first name, email, phone number. I can ask for freaking all, all kinds of different things I can ask for. Name and email is all you really need up front to build a relationship, up front to start the relationship, right? And then it's the back end, the email automation that builds the relationship, right? With that lead. But here's what I'm trying to say about this. You can use a lead form. This is a lead form. No landing page needed. You can, you can capture the lead and everything's all good. The reason why I don't teach this, this, to run ads to lead forms is because you still you still need the other the other tools. You still need an email autoresponder, which is going to cost you 20, 30, 40 bucks a month. And if you're in the business of appointments, you're going to need some kind of online calendar. You can only use Calendly for free for so long until you really start scaling up your ads. Then you're going to need a thank you page along with that calendar. And that's when you have to upgrade. So the, before you know it, you're spending 20, 30 bucks a month for Calendly. I got this monthly fee for my email automation, right? So I so so you end up needing so many different so many different tools just to manage that lead. You're using Facebook's lead form, but you still have to export that lead, put it into some type of email automation and tie it to some type of online calendar if you're doing appointments, right? If you're taking appointments. So there's just too many softwares in, in, involved with with using Facebook lead forms. That's why the majority of the ads that you'll see, let's scroll down to another one. Here goes another one, sponsored. The majority of the ads that you see will take you off of Facebook, right? He's taking me off of Facebook to a simple page. This is not your, your broker's fancy real estate website. This is a boring blank page. There's nothing on there but one blue button, right? A headline, a subheadline, there's nothing but one blue button. That's how he's capturing the lead. So this guy is literally spending money. This is a Facebook sponsored ad. He's probably spending five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day to get thousands of people to see this click come off of Facebook to a simple landing page with Andrea, with Andrea, this is her post, right? This is her sponsored ad. We post it on the business page first. Right. So this was posted on August 30th. Today is November 5th. So it's been running for six days, six days, right? Six days, six days. Um, and so this actually, no, I take that back. It's been running as an ad. It's been running as an ad for three days. It was posted on the 30th. We started the ad today's Monday. We started the ad. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me give you guys exact numbers, exact numbers. Today's Monday. We started the ad on Saturday. We started the ad on Saturday. Okay, so the ad, so it was posted on the business page on the 30th, but we didn't start the ad until Saturday. Okay, that was the third. Today's the fifth. So it hasn't even been two days. It hasn't even, it has not even been two days. And um, let's see this list. 14 leads have came in so far. 14, 14 uh, leads have came in. They all came in from the seller guide, seller guide, seller guide, seller guide, seller guide. So what Andrea is focused on, what Andrea is supposed to focused on is rather than putting out daily organic content, posting on my Facebook page, posting on my business page, posting on my Instagram, doing an Instagram reel, doing a story, shaking my ass on TikTok. Let me post something professional on LinkedIn and let me do it again at 5 p.m. Rather than posting all this organic crap that 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 everyone's putting out, rather than doing that, okay, and again, this applies if you're a local business owner. Rather than doing all that, right? What I'm recommending is posting once like this, just like this, the same damn video. You guys are doing the same video, right? But you're doing it for your plumbing business. Same freaking video. You guys are already putting it out. That's the good thing. You're already writing out the text. You're already putting out the content. You guys are already doing this. Again, if you're a local business owner, I'm encouraging you to learn how to run an ad. So pick your platform. It doesn't necessarily have to, it doesn't necessarily have to be Facebook at all. Pick your platform, whatever your favorite is, LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever. Learn how to run the ad. Learn how to run an ad. Target your local area, 
give away something of value, learn how to run an ad. It's that simple. It's that simple. So this is the ad, right? This is the ad been running for about two days, almost two days now. And all we're doing, again, rather than posting all over the place, we're running one video every 15 days. That's it. Two videos per month. That's it. So as everyone posts organically just to get your thousands of followers who live around the world to see your open house post, rather than doing that, I'm saying, okay, you got the post, run it as an ad, put some money behind it, and do it for 15 days. On the 16th day, do another one. And now, rather than talking about everything in your industry, talk about one thing. In real estate, we're either talking to the buyer or we're talking to the seller in every single post from this day forward. Focus on one, right? Focus on one. It makes it super, super simple and fun to create it, to create the content. Um, and then the algorithm starts to work in your favor, especially when you're when you're when you're running paid ads. The algorithm algorithm really works in your favor because you're targeting one person. You're ta you're targeting one person. The algorithm just needs needs to look for this one person. This one person is either a, a potential purchaser, a home buyer, or this one per and has shown major, major interest in all of that. That's how they know. Or this person's a homeowner and they follow Home Depot and they're interested in Martha Stewart Garden, right? And they they show every freaking interest and in, in behavior of a home buyer, right? Facebook and, and these other platforms have this data. They know what the hell we're clicking on. They know our interest, right? So target one, target one. Create that content, talk to that one person, offer that free download in exchange for the number. Name and email, for example. And here's the whole flow, and then and then that's all I got for you guys. This is all we're doing, right? So one video every 15 days replaces all the posting that you guys are currently doing. One every 15 days. Here's here's video number one. As that ad, look, I click on it. So we got almost 600 views. We got almost 600 views on the video, right? Those are local views, you guys. That's the difference. That's the difference. So as you're taking your freaking listing video that you did in your cute outfit and you're putting on your Facebook page, you got 3,700 friends, 99% of them live across the country. You got 3,700 followers on Instagram, 3,600 of them live across the country, right? So it's like, dude, you got... 300 views on your video, but they all live across the country. Those are almost 600. And again, the ad has barely started. It hasn't even, been, hasn't even been 48 hours yet, but those are 600 views that are local. That's the difference. That's the freaking difference. That's the difference. And that's why you want to watch my, my previous video also on how to set up a business manager. Make sure you set up your Facebook business manager. Don't be boosting posts. That, that's not what we did over here. We didn't just post it on the business page and then and then boost the post we didn't just do that let me go back to it we didn't just boost the post we're running it as an actual ad welcome to andrea we're, we're running it as an actual ad through the business manager so catch my previous videos on how to even set up a business manager but those are targeted views now through the business manager we can track that data we can we could track those who watched it for 25 percent. it's a 51 second video we could track those who watched it for 30 seconds put them in an audience, show them another ad. And that's all we're doing. So as we run this video and get, get thousands of views on it, we'll take the percentage of people who watch the majority of it, put them in a custom audience, show them ad number two. Same thing with ad number two, one minute video. We capture the audience who watch 30 seconds of that one, put them in an audience, show them another video. Ad number three comes out. We're now retargeting ad number one and ad number two. Once we get several thousand viewers who watched, let's just say 30 seconds of my two minute video or 30 seconds of my one minute video, we then take that data and create a lookalike audience and only target them. Ninja stuff on what we can do here, you guys. But the point is we're targeting our local area. We're targeting our local area. And this is how simple the video content is. We're targeting one person that's the seller and, and, and we're getting seller leads. So, so, so far you guys, so far, so far, um, little under two days, 14 leads, 14 leads came in. These are all people in her local area who downloaded a seller's guide. They simply saw that ad running, right? They simply saw this ad running, this video in their newsfeed. These are people who live down her street, right? It's running 24 seven. 
and we were getting a ton of views on it. But 14 people said, yeah, Andrea, I'll take that. Here's what happens. They see that as an ad in the newsfeed. They click the button. They end up coming to her one pager. So this is not her fancy broker real estate website, right? You don't come here and see 17 listings all of a sudden. None of that fancy stuff. It's a simple landing page, a simple web page, the essential guide to selling your home, right? A headline, what every homeowner must, must know before selling, and one simple button, right? This is a simple, simple page, you guys, little bio on her to the left, her, her headshot, one single button. That's all we're doing. So we're, 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 again, we're targeting, we're talking to one person, we're targeting the post our local area, since we're a local business owner, and we're getting tons of people to come in through this one page. That's it. Now, there's two pages. This is a simple sales funnel. It's a simple landing page, and there's two pages. That's it. So as that person sees that ad right now in real time, they click, they come over to her one page, they click the button, they enter their name and email. I'll just put a bogus email for now, David Test, download now they end up coming to a second page, okay? Two pages, that's it. And a lot of you guys are, are you know, might maybe saying, hey, I have a landing page or I, ha I have KV Core. You may have the first page, but the second page is the money page. That's, this is what I call the money page. This is the second page, the money page. Right here is a video where she's covering four bullet points, simple one minute video. She's, she's, she's covering four bullet points. The moment that person just came in, all they did is simply request a copy of her free seller guide. That's what that's what they did, right? They enter their name and email. They're, they're now landing here. Number one, I'm thanking them. Thank you so much for downloading my 2022 seller's guide. In this seller's guide, I'm giving you my top tips and tricks on how I consult and, 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 and what I say when I consult my clients before they list their home, right? So number one, I'm thanking them, letting them know what they can expect in, in the seller guide or whatever. Simple. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is David. I'm, an, I'm, I'm a real estate agent with X Brokerage. Let me tell you a little bit about, about myself and why I'm so fired up to help homeowners sell in the greater area of Cleveland or whatever, right? Number two, I'm introducing myself. A little background, a little experience, why I'm so excited. Number two. Number three, check your email. I just sent you an email and I could play this for you, but these are the four bullet points she's hidden on. Number one, Thank you. Number two, introduce herself. Number three, check your email because I just sent you your free PDF. It's titled 20, your, it's titled your 2022 PDF, your 2022 freaking seller's guide, whatever the hell you want to name it. Check your email and also be on the lookout for my future emails because over the next few weeks, I'm going to be educating you on what it takes to sell in today's market. You're not going to want to miss an email, right? And then number four, I'm going for the close. Number four, I'm saying something like, and this is, again, a lot of you guys may have landing pages, but you don't have this second page. This is the money page because here's, here's bullet point number four. Bullet point number four is I would say something like, hey, guys, and by the way, I know a lot of folks have questions. I know a lot of people are moving. These last couple of years have been crazy times. So if you have any questions or if you just need some consultation, I'd love to speak to you. So if you click the button below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's it. So you guys, again, I was like, damn, I'm working on Andrea's account. I'm looking at the lead count. Now it's 15 because I just opted in, right? So if I hit 15, you're going to see that bogus email of mine. There's mine right there, right? So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to delete it. And that is it. I use this Kartra system, you guys, for my landing pages, my email automation, and my online calendar. Those are the three tools that one, one needs. So as you start to run through your newsfeed, that's why I showed you this ad, to show you that every ad that you're going to start to see, whether it's in the newsfeed or whether it's on the right-hand side, I click on the right-hand side, they're taking me off of Facebook to a landing page. There's nothing to click on this page except for one button, which will be right here. Rush me a free copy. That's all. I can go through this whole entire sales page, all of this text, 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 text. All This is what we call a long-form sales page. Look where I'm at. My cursor is barely over here to the right. It's way up there. I could freaking scroll through all of this. And the only thing that's going to be on this is a freaking button. One button. It's that orange one. One button. Let me go back up. One button right here. One button. That's how he's capturing the lead. One button. So, so people are running ads to a simple page to capture lead. That's it. 
So rather than rather than posting your listing or your open house or, or just posting random stuff, now talk to one person. Learn Facebook ads. Learn how to set up your business manager. Drive that person to a simple landing page where you can capture the lead. But again, again, the three tools, landing page, email automation, and an online calendar. Because here's what's going on. As people land on this second page, some will schedule a call right now. Some won't. That's when your email automation needs to kick in. Now, from this point on, if I did not schedule, let's say I'm one of the 10 who did not schedule a call right here and there. Two days later, I need to receive another email. Two days after that, another email. Two days later that after that, another email. And that's what I was actually working on inside of, inside of um, Andrea's account is I was making sure that all the automated emails, all the automated emails are programmed and ready to go out to these 14 leads. So as leads start to come in, you guys, this is, we're just, we're just getting started. And she's spending like, I think she's spending $13 a day, $13 a day, which is not a whole lot. $13 a day, a little over 300 a month. What is that? $13 a day, $13 a day, $13 a day, $13 a day times 30. She's spending 390 a month, $13 She's spending $390 a month. She's a real estate agent. You close one deal, you make six grand. She's spending $390 a month on Facebook ads. That's it. And we're just getting started. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. But again, as I'm coming in here, so as I this is her email autoresponder, the sequence. So if you guys are interested in a 14-day trial, I have all these funnels done for you. Seller guide, listing funnel. I have an open house funnel. I have these funnels done for you. Activate a 14-day trial. You'll see the link in the description. Um, um I'll, I'll email you and I'll give you all these funnels for free. I'll even give you my time for free to teach you how to use them all. But this is simple. Like once it's landing pages, email automation, and my online calendar. So again, as emails come in, we're obviously shooting for the appointment, right? If you're if you're in the business of taking appointments, then that's what it is, right? Not only do I need to lead, but I need someone on the freaking phone, right? I'm in the appointment business. If you guys are in the appointment business, a real estate agent, a broker, you guys are definitely in the appointment business, right? You're helping people buy or sell real estate. You need to take that damn appointment first, right? So of course we're 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 in the lead business, but at the end of the day, we're in the appointment business. So it's like, man, I need to be able to give people the ability to click a button, go straight to my calendar that's based on my schedule and schedule a call, right? That's that's so so freaking powerful. So so again, for those that do not schedule a call, on that second page. That's the whole objective is to get them to, to download our free seller guide in this, in this, in this case. Um, and then, and then as they do that, they land on my second page where I'm now going for the call. I'm now going for the appointment, right? So for those that do not schedule, that's where the email automation, right? Immediately they get that first email regarding the, the free download, but two days later, another email, two days later, another email, two days later, another email, two days later, right? This is the back end. And in these emails are also the green button, getting people to schedule appointments via email. That's the other tool. So landing pages, email automation, and an online calendar. Those are the three things, the three tools that one needs. Obviously, you need to learn how to use them, but they're so simple. I use everything. I, I run everything through Kartra. My entire online business is ran through Kartra. I, I, I I can host courses. I, I can do so much when it when it comes to what I'm what I'm explaining to you guys. What 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 it takes to run a freaking ad on any of these platforms: landing page, email autoresponder, and an online calendar. So so I run all that through Kartra. There's a 14 day trial in the link. Um, the link is in the, is in the description. Um, but that's what's going on, you guys. This is a real estate agent. 14 leads so far came in. Um, you can see here which funnel which opt-in form they all came in from, and they're all coming in from the seller guide. So, so I'm, I'm super fired up for, for Andrea. And again, you guys, when you, when you look at, when you look at the content, you guys look, she's in a basement. She's given a seller tip and she's on her cell phone, selfie style in a basement. That's it, you guys. And she's not like crazy. She's already obviously beautiful, but she, she's not like all done up. You know what I mean? She's not like all hair all freaking out the salon. And maybe maybe that's her style, but but whatever. She looks good no matter what. No matter, she's in a freaking basement. So it's like, for those of you that think you need to be in front of a green screen and all done up and all that, no, dude, you don't need any of that. Any of that, this right here so far. And if we can keep on that pace, let's say, let's say we can keep on, let's say we get 15 leads every two days. 15 leads every two days, 
and I'm putting up one post every 15 days. And that's it. And that's it. Right there, you guys, that is the formula to dominate your local area. So shout out to every local business owner. If you're a local business owner, comment below. Comment below. Let me know what kind of business you're building. Let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. Like, let me re reach out to me, dude. Facebook ads software. Facebook ads software. The software is your landing pages, your email automation, and your freaking online calendar. That's all you need, man. Facebook ads landing pages and depending on what business depend on what your what demographic you're serving okay cool yeah maybe tiktok but the ad learn how to run the ad you guys stop shaking your ass for free learn how to spend a little bit of money run your ad get your message in front of the right people and dominate your local area all right guys so that's kind of all i have for you shout out to andrea we're just getting started i'll see you guys on the next video over and out